Hello everybody, and welcome to a new series on my channel, Create Astral. Last series, I didn't really touch Create at all, and I barely went to the space. I kind of just did it very briefly, so I thought the next series would be focused on those two points. I have been gone for about two weeks now because I was having carpal tunnel syndrome problems with my computer, sorry, my mouse, my mouse hand, but I've pretty much went to therapy, I've done therapy for it every single day, and my wrist has pretty much gone back to normal, so I am ready to just dig, or I should say mine, right back into Create Astral right now. So let's just get into the world, and while we're making this world, I'll tell you guys a little bit about what the mod pack is. So we'll put it on. Uh, definitely easy. We'll go. We'll go for no normal for now. Everything here will stay the same, except we'll go to Marvel Options. We'll say, we'll say Dillo, sure, and we will create the world. And with that, guys, we have loaded into the world. Now, while I talk to you guys a little bit, I might as well just punch some trees so we get some wood collecting going on. Now, as I mentioned, the mod pack is a little bit different. Most mod packs you start getting into space more later in the pack. However, what the creator of this mod pack wanted to do was make it so that you can come into the game, I guess come into the mod and be able to use like space in general a lot earlier than normal. As I said, a lot of mod packs kind of have to be late game. And it's doing it in a very astral way. What's interesting about this mod pack too is it also has a lot of original content created specifically for the mod pack, which I think would be really fun for us to kind of get into seeing and how that works. But I thought I'd mention that quickly cool about kind of what the mod pack is, and it's essentially a progression through space using all the planets they have. Instead of having, you know, just barren ones, they had to add a lot more content to the space. I think it's using Ad Astra as well, which is where the astral name oh I guess I can't point out where that comes from. But that's kind of where that comes from. Also, if you look over here, you can see this is REI, this is not JEI. And I have my tool search on the bottom here. For most people, it actually starts up here. If you go to the settings, and you go to right here, search field, and just change it to bottom left, right, then you have it down here. Otherwise, it will be up here as well. So I thought I'd just mention that pretty quickly. Now, I'm guessing you guys at this point may have seen a couple other series with this going on. And you guys can probably tell I don't have the shaders turned on. Now, there's no problem with my computer being able to handle the shaders, but for some reason my recording system doesn't like the shaders. I'll show you guys what I mean pretty quickly, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So if we enable the shaders quickly, on my end, this looks fine, but I'm pretty sure on your guys' side for the video, the output just doesn't look that good. I'm still getting, you know, 75 frames plus when I'm recording, so there should be no problem, but I'm not really sure what is the problem with that. So I will have shaders turned off for now if you guys can figure out any ways, or if I can figure out my ways. I will turn the shaders back on for the actual let's play, but I really hope I can, but I guess we'll just have to see if that's going to happen or not. But until I figure out what the problem with my recording software is, you'll have shaders turned off. You guys probably see this looks a whole lot better to you guys now. But, so what I want to do first is, we have a quest book here. The quest book can be activated also in the inventory right here by hovering over there. You can either right click this book or click right here. Now I'm not going to make a team because it's a solo player world. Now, these are the different chapters. From what I've recalled so far, this mod pack only has five chapters so far. I think they are going to make more though, however. So, what I want to do now is just kind of get started with this little over here. It looks like it wants us to get into Tinkers first. It looks like we have to make some tinkering stuff. So, what I'm going to do right now is let's just collect a little bit more wood. So, let's go back to our Chibiru chopping that I've ran away from for some reason. Collect a little bit more wood, and then we can kind of get going from there and start making some new creations that it has. Hopefully it lets us use the, I guess, non-vanilla wood, that's not vanilla, not, not vanilla, not oak wood, I mean. Now, we do need some patterns, and patterns are made like this. I don't know if I'm going to need this many patterns, but I might as well make a whole bunch. And if the music is too loud, tell me. Uh, I think I might turn it down a little bit, because I think it is a little too loud. So I'll turn it down to, or I did edit the settings a little bit, because I don't want it to be too loud from the beginning. Okay, so now that we have that, we need to make a crafting bench. So that should be one achievement. We already have patterns achieved as well. We get a bed, some torches. This is the best part about press mod packs is just, you know, <laughs> accepting rewards. That's what I love about mod packs, at least sometimes, or these 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 uh quest mod packs. So we need to build a part builder, and we need to build a tinker table, tinker station. So if we go to part builder, we'll just add that right over here. Ooh. I forgot that we need to go to the settings here, and we need to change it over here to add it onto our layout over there. Now I use A because that's kind of what everything else uses. I don't remember where the where the uh, field was over here. I think it must be one of these guys. It might be, I think, I think it's this one right here, perhaps. 
So we'll see if that works or not. Nope, it doesn't, but that should be fine. We can still create this stuff right here by going over here. I'll figure that out in between uh, now and then. I'll just show you guys how to fix it there. So we got ourselves a part builder. Now we need a tool station. Station. Is it not a tool station? Am I making stuff up right now? It's a tinker station. Sorry, guys. A tinker station. And just get that going. It looks like I need to put the crafting bench down for that. How dare they make me do stuff more, more than I need to. So, looks like we need some oak to get the crafting bench station going. And with this, we can start getting ourselves some tinker tools. Now, what I think I might do... Let, I want to see if um, wooden tools are disabled in the pack. So, wooden tools are not disabled right now, guys. So, what I'm going to do is I think... I am going to mine up a little bit of cobblestone so we can get cobblestone going. Okay, no, never mind. We can't do that. Looks like tools are disabled. So we have to go through making ourselves parts in the part station. So I'll do that with you guys quickly right now so we can at least get something going. So we'll pop down these two guys. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, they, they have connected side texture. Yes, they do. So we put the stuff in here. So it looks like I'm going to make a few more patterns. So we'll just put that right there and this. Uh, <laughs> there we go. A little struggle, but it looks like I got it in the end. To put these in here, what I want to do is make these out of wood. So a tool handle, I'm pretty sure I can just put a stick in there and that should be good. Or I can't. It looks like it takes an entire stick to get that. And also it consumes a pattern. Now, if I recall correctly, to make a pickaxe, we need a something that looks like a ball. We need a tool handle. Then we need a pickaxe head. A pickaxe head. And finally we need a round plate, I guess. Looks like the round plate needs a little bit more than one piece of wood, so we'll just give it a little bit more than one piece of wood. Looks like I'm clicking on the wrong one too. And with that, looks like it required two wood. Now we should be able to come over here. That was... I selected the wrong tool, guys. Kind of a doofus right there. <laughs> so let's go to the tool binding and create that instead. And then we'll come over... Oh, what, what even is this? A... a I think it's O. C control O. There we go. Control O turns that off. And that makes it a lot easier to see. So the the pick a daz, the pick a daz of mining tool, it has effective on rock, dirt, sand, and gravel, but is not sharp enough to mine tougher objects like stone and many ores. So this is just this is just quite literally a shovel. Which I guess is fine to have, but not what I would want to make right now. So we'll just put these guys in right here, and you can see we get a dark oak pickaxe. This has a... it's very basic. <laughs> it's very basic, pretty much. So what I want to do, guys, now is I'm going to probably just dig a little bit, get a little bit more resources, and then once we get some resources, mm, I'll make it enough to get... I think what I'll do is I'll mine throughout the night, and I'll bring you guys back in, and we can try to find a place to kind of set up for now. But I think until then, I might just dig a hidey hole in the wall right here, do a whole bunch of... Probably just cobblestone mining, probably for now, because I don't really want to make tools without you guys being there. And then I can bring you guys back in, we can make a little bit better tools, hopefully we can make ourselves some armor as well. We're about to take a quick nap here so we can wake on up and do some more stuff outside. So, now that we have ourselves slept through, we are out of the night and we don't have to worry about any monsters right now. Maybe we just worry about- that guy's a gun?! What?! Why does it have a gun?! Um, I wasn't expecting guns. Not gonna lie, and I'm going to die. Um, <laughs> I'm getting shot up by a skeleton, guys. I was not expecting to have guns. What the heck? He said I shot a bullet at me right there. It's just right by my face. There's a zombie over there. Oh my gosh. It looks like they have different animations, too. If he touches me, I'm gonna get caught on fire, so I really want that to happen. But, one second, we get this guy dead here. Hopefully, I'm dead pretty fast. Looks like there's a pig over there. I might take that pig and kill it so I get some food from it. Okay. We are safe ish now. So what I want to do is look for a place we can set, settle down. Now it looks like I... Ooh, it looks like a structure over there. Let's go and see what that structure is. You can see it in the corner of our eye right now. It looks like it's some sort of area. Maybe we can use it as a home base for us to start off. Looks like there is some sort of oil over there we can use to go to space with as well. That's my guess what that's going to be used for. Speaking of that, let's see what rockets or you crafting recipe for rockets look like. So it looks like I can't actually... There we go. So it looks like tier 1 rockets don't have a way to be made just yet, which is kind of confusing, but I guess we'll figure that out in a little bit and how we can do that later. So let's see what's over here. It looks like it's an abandoned house. It looks like there's a something I can pick up though. So it looks like a train trail. Loot barrel. Ooh. 
So we got ore. So if we get two more ore, actually that's andesite compound, which is used to create. Okay, so this is the new way to get the andesite alloy. It is andesite, iron nugs, and clay balls. Interesting. We'll just take everything in here because why not? And I might take this crafting station as well because I prefer these. I wonder if I can actually change this to that. No, I can't. So I might as well just keep the crafting station like that because I think they're much cooler. Now, are we going to be a grave? No, that's not going to be a grave. I don't think there's a grave under there, unfortunately. Looks like they do have train stations over here. It looks like there's nothing else over here that we can harvest, unfortunately. So as I was saying, I am just going to look around for a nice place to settle down, guys. Hopefully, like a plains biome because last time we were kind of on the side of a hill. I think I want to do a plains biome right now so we can set up a home. I might as well do a little bit of exploring with you guys while running around and see what's up with it. I think we may get a plans biome over there. It kind of looks like at least we might get something through the forest over here, but I thought we'd at least stop right now and just see what this shipwreck has for us. Now, I also... Are you going to bite me? No, you're not. What I did notice, too, was that I didn't show you guys that I actually upgraded the pickaxe head of mine. So just I thought I'd quickly, very quickly, just go ahead and show you guys how that works. So if we go into here, you take a part. I'll just do the stone grinding, for example. Let me take down our tool thicker station. And you put your tool on there, you can just quite literally change out the piece. If you look right there, you can see the entire head is now stone. Now what is nice about this is now I only need to use stone to repair it because you use the repair on whatever head that that ever head is. So this is a stone head, that means I need stone to repair it. So let's just break our way in here and see if we can find... I think there's a chest somewhere in here at least. I don't really remember where the chests are in this guy. I should have made that pix pix azzle. I think that was what it's called. So we can get ourselves a chest. Hopefully it's somewhere in here. And there we go. We finally found the chest right here. We get a mace. This mace is a brutal tool of war. And what it lacks in fitness, finesse, it makes up for in power. So let's take that. We'll take the iron nugs. We'll take our iron itself. Now, I do have a whole bunch of stuff in my inventory that I don't really think I need right now. I might just drop off some stuff. I don't really need an egg at this moment. Don't need the cogs, but I might as well keep them just in case. I do have a whole lot of stuff right here, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure there should be something back here as well. I don't actually know. That. I don't actually think so. This this is like a very simple one, small one, so I don't think there's anything else in here. So I just thought I'd pretty ex explode to you guys pretty quickly. I am going to go run over to a plains biome, which might be a little bit further away. But since I have no food right now, I might... They drop food? I don't think they drop food. So I might just find some animals on the way and use my newly found mace. Whoa, you guys see that? Whoa, okay, not gonna lie, guys. That, that, that That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. But what I was saying was, I think I'm gonna just go ahead until I find a plains biome, which looks like I was wrong. There's no plains biome over there. Well, once again, it is not a plains biome, but it looks like it's an abandoned house. Or maybe it's not so abandoned if you look inside here. Guys, remember how long it took me to get cabbage last season? Can I make the seeds out of these? Oh. Well, it took me very long to get those last season. I'll have at least a piece, piece of cabbage on me. It looks like there's a whole bunch of stuff down here. And oh, there's, there's food too. I found these grapes that I was able to eat, so that's kind of how I was sustaining myself. I don't think I'm going to take the flour though. I don't think I'm going to take the flour again. I think I might take the bronze sheets though. Oh, I've got, oh, we got a copper pickaxe now, guys. That is pretty interesting because that's a lot better than the pickaxe we have right now. This area is completely full right now, so I might just drop that off. I'll take the patterns, I don't really need sticks, I'll take the cobblestone. And I already have a tinker station, but this is actually very interesting. I didn't even realize we kept that up here for a second. There's another area down here. Ooh, more stuff to loot. Ooh, we got a piece of armor. Let's go, boys. So let's put this armor quickly. Might as well. Maybe we'll get no more shooting skeletons just shooting us to, like, to death now. Looks like that shows is going to restore me three health, which is actually pretty interesting. I'll take the cutting board. I didn't need to. I thought I'd pretty much bring you guys in here for this because I thought it would be pretty interesting. I didn't have to actually kill any animals just yet. Let's just check the map to do this thing. Oh, God, look over there. I, don't, I might just explore with you guys because I already have you in here. So let's just keep on going and see what's happening. Maybe we'll be able to use our little tool here and see what's, what's going to happen with it. You can see something great happening right there. Something down. Killed something. I might actually just use this as a little temporary base because I have way too much stuff to loot. And I don't have too much inventory space left. I can't even pick this up over there. Whatever this is, I want to loot it. So let's just see what's over here as well. Is that a ladder? Wrong way. This is definitely an abandoned house. 
We don't need any of that so far. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like anything too interesting over there. Once again, guys, I think I'm going to bring you back once I get to the base. If I find another place, if it's boring stuff I already have, I won't bring you guys back in. But if it's something new, I'll bring you guys back in for that. Or hopefully we just actually find a place to set up, set up shop and then we can bring you guys back in for that. I end up finding myself a plains bound over here. Uh, we just crossed from the water over there. I did see two houses right here, and there's also a house a little bit over the hill right here. You can probably see on my mini map right here. But they really had nothing useful in them or no nothing cool or new in them, so I thought I would just take what I got from them and kind of call it a day there. But I was going to need a little bit quick of a snack. I'll just eat some cabbage, I guess. But what I think I'm going to do here is I think I'm going to build just a little temporary house, maybe inside the mountain over here or something, just so I can get something going so we can start getting stuff ready until we can find or build a more permanent home. I built myself a little bit of a hidey hole. It doesn't have the best entrance so far, but at least it is something. I do think I'm going to work it a little bit more, a bit, but I think it's at least good for now. This is kind of what I have for the inside so far. Those two empty slots, I'm going to probably put glass panes right here. I just have to make a furnace first before I'm doing that. But I do have crates, or I guess cabinets going up on the sides over here because I thought they looked kind of, kind of cool. And pretty much just, you know, got my mineables with like the like the shovel mineables, I got pickaxe mineables, I got wood stuff, I got ore type stuff over here, I got my plant chest, I got my mob drop chest, I guess I should probably put the feathers in the mob drop chest then. I have a chest with nothing in it because I haven't designated this one just yet. And then finally I have, I give up on finding stuff for this, so I just put everything else in here. So I'll, I guess I'll call this like the modded chest of just random modded blocks. But... What I thought I would do now is to go a little bit through some of the quests. I know I have some stuff over here, but actually think before I do some of the quests, I want to build myself a furnace first. And for that, we're going to need three pieces of ore, and we're going to need, I think, five pieces of something else. I want to do this too because I also kind of want to get rid of all this extra stuff in the wall. I think to make the furnace is just simply doing this. Perfect. We can pop our furnace right here. I know it's very compact right here. I just trying to find enough space that I can always move stuff around later. But this is just kind of the basic setup for now. What I can do with that is just, while we're doing some stuff, I can probably just get myself eight and a stack of cobble, and I can just throw this in here, and hopefully it's all, it's, it's all cobble stuff. So what I want to do now is do a little bit of quest working, because I kind of ignored the quest because you're going to have some quests already done. What are these things right here? Device, I have no clue what that means. So we'll just... Yeah, that's definitely a bit further ahead. So let's look at the quests we've already done so far. So advanced tools, making tools, we get some free food, which is really nice because I honestly desperately need food. Novice tinkerer, uh, make a pickaxe, I guess. So I get some stuff about tinkers. And ores, I just get a cake every single time I get I get something here. That's pretty interesting. I'll take it though. What is this right here? All my homies hate enchanting early game. Let's get some real man drift. <laughs> okay. So we let's create a traveler's set. So what do we need for the traveler's set? Guessing we need I guess we need so we need glass paints anyways for that, so that's honestly not that bad. We need copper, which you got a whole bunch of copper already mined up from clearing this little space out. That needs more copper. That needs more copper, and that needs more copper. So it's it's essentially just a whole bunch of leather copper and a little bit of glass for the helmet. So do I have enough materials for that? So let's see, two copper, four copper. Six copper. Wait. I guess eight copper in total. Then two, seven, uh, thirteen, and sixteen uh, leather. So I don't have that, but I do at least have eight copper available right here. And with that, you can probably just smelt it up right there. I might build another furnace to just smelt the copper down. So, but I also need to get myself leather, which I don't have any right now. So what I think I might have to do is go kill some stuff. I did kill a sheep because I wanted to see how well it would how well it didn't work. However, it doesn't I mean these guys do drop leather, so I may have to do it guys, I'm sorry. I think I'm gonna have to kill the, the horses for leather. So I'll be I will not I will spare you guys the violence of me killing horses. So I'll be back once I get enough leather. Maybe a little bit more. Ooh, I just realized you guys can see the uh you can see that jump height and speed there. I didn't know horses had that. I guess that makes sense. But once again, I will be back once I get enough of them, of them, uh, enough resources from them to be able to build myself some of the traveler's armor. After parting many cows with their leather, I was able to get about 17, which is one more than we need for this. So I thought we might as well just go right here and go to the tinker armor. 
Wait, wasn't that called the Tinker Armor? It was called... It was called Traveler's Armor. Okay. So let's go to Traveler's Armor. We'll just each make each piece. I think I need to make the glass panes first, though. So I'll make the glass panes. I will then make the Traveler's Goggles. Make the Traveler's Chest Plate. Make the Traveler's Leggings. And then finally, I'll make the Traveler's Boots. Which should give us the full set as completed. And we should be able to collect that quest. Now, we've got an iron chest. Interesting. Reinforced chests. I don't think I've actually heard of that mod before. So you can go to rose gold chest. Diamond chest. Diamond plates. Wow. Okay, never mind. It's like one diamond person. It's not too bad. So diamond chest. Oops. Netherite chest. Ooh. And then you can do nothing with the netherite chest, but it looks like this is made pretty much the exact same way. They just added the iron to, or the gold texture in there. But I'm getting a little bit sidetracked right with that right there. I don't know why I got gray dye, though. I did see we have a furnace task right here, and I'm pretty sure if we just break this furnace and pick it up, let's see if it's done, I will just be able to pick it up. I'm pretty sure I can just... Ah, oh, I destroyed my... Oh, that's so sad. Well, I don't think I can do about that now, I guess. But we'll go ahead and collect the egg sandwich and a whole bunch of coal, which is really nice because I can just pop it right into the furnace here. So I was looking through the the uh, thing over here, and I was kind of wondering what I wanted to do next. And I was thinking, I don't really know why they'd have tasks for different types of armor. If, you know, you can just get the crate armor right away. Not the crate armor, sorry, the tinker's armor. But what I think I am going to do is kind of start breaking into some of these other quests over here. I think I kind of want to complete this line right here. I think it'll be a good a good thing for us to just do. I don't know really what most of these things are over here, to be honest with you, but I do think it'll be pretty interesting. I may go for a couple more quests. I think I may kind of get these these quests down here. I don't think I'm gonna go for the gold quest though, because that just that's just eating gold. Gold is still a resource to me that I don't want to spend right now. But I think I'm gonna go for these five ish. What is this five quests? six quests right here and once i get those i'll probably think about what i'll do next because that's, that's my objective right now is to get these quests right here done so i think for that i'm going to have to start mining and i haven't really made an idea where i want to start mining it so i'll have to think about that the first thing is first that we can put this armor on now we have our armor on i think i might make a little bit of, bit of a mine down here somewhere one thing i do want to mention as well is i did start making a little bit of a farm down here because well, I keep running out of food, at least before I went on the, the cow hunt, I guess you could call it. So I did make a little bit of a farm over here just so I could have it going. And I also made a little bit of a sugarcane area over there because I don't know when I'll start eating paper. So I thought I might as well start getting the paper grind started right now. But what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to just start mining maybe a little bit, maybe right right in this little area right here and make a little bit of a mining post right there. We can just dig down and get some, get some well, something down there and get ourselves enough materials to finish at least most of these quests that I can. So it looks like I should get some copper for that. There's more copper to make that. I don't... Oh, it looks like I just... Get this one. So by default, the zoom button is Z. Wait, does this have to... So... Not do it. Oh, I guess I have to do this. Cop, uh, copper should keep you safe before they build it to process. Iron is covered. Sure. Looks like that quest was completed automatically because we picked up an iron pickaxe. I guess, do I just... Maybe these are just helpful quests. Battle Staff. I don't know why I want a Battle Staff, but that sounds kind of cool. The next chapter will involve creating factories that produce items forever. That sounds perfectly down the line I want. So I guess that's what those things are right there. I'm guessing actually each of those... Yeah, you can see right there. That probably unlocks Tech Reborn. That probably unlocks, I guess, whatever the Amazon Warehouse is. And that's probably a add-on to the Amazon Warehouse right there. So by doing that, I'm guessing we have more chapters unlocked. I'm, I'm guessing I may have to complete these quests over here for those chapters to unlock. So, um, I still, that's just, cool box. Interesting. Oh, I can just punch into bricks right away. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of new stuff here that I don't really know about, so it's going to be kind of fun learning it all through this little mod right here. But what I think I'm going to do is, let's see, I feel like a lot of this stuff I kind of want to get done, though. I could break into some other stuff over here, but I don't think I need to cooking just yet. I do want backpacks, though. It does give copper chests. 
So I may I may look at this route a little bit right here, but I think I still want to go ahead and make myself a mine shaft because we need we need stuff, guys. We need we need we need ore. We need coal. We need gold. I guess coal or gold is part of ore, but we need stuff so we can actually keep progressing on. So I'm gonna just continue on with my mining over there and probably probably just mine a whole bunch and see what see where that takes me and bring you guys back in when so I think. There's something interesting either down in the case because I don't know what any of the, the stuff they have in this mod pack is for, you know, underground stuff, like dungeons and stuff, or I guess, I guess anything down there, really. Oh, I can put these glasses on right here now, too. Sorry, guys, I just get distracted by everything around me. But yeah, I'm going to go start mining now, I think. You know, guys, as I was mining here, I thought this would be a pretty good place to actually just wrap this episode up. We've kind of finished more or less an entire branch, and it seems like when we're going into now is more unlocking, you know, other types of chapters and other stuff that I think would be good to do next episode. I was also thinking about it too, and I think there are some other things I would like to work on next episode. I don't know if it's going to be some of these mods exactly per se, but I do have a couple of ideas what I want to work on. And if you're wondering, it may have to do with tools because, you know, having stone tools is nice, but I'd rather have higher <laughs> than stone tools. So I think I might try to work on a smelter next episode. I'm not sure yet, but... I think that's what I'm going to be looking forward to doing, and maybe looking at some other mods over here, just I guess maybe some other little chapters over here to see what looks interesting to do, but I think that is what I'm going to end up doing, is kind of just see if we can get some upgraded tools next episode, whether it's a smeltery and, you know, just going for stuff like that, and maybe some iron, we are already starting to get iron now that we're mining down here, maybe even make us some copper tools, I don't know if that would be any good, I don't, we also have some tin as well, so maybe we'll even make bronze tools, which I don't know if that would be better, because I think I'd probably have more copper and tin than I do uh, raw iron. Iron might be used for, you know, other recipes that I might need to keep. So I think I'm actually do that. I'm going to make bronze, bronze tools. I think that'll be the goal of the next level is to make some bronze tools for ourselves. But, oops, let's put it right there. Once again, guys, thank you very much for watching the first episode of my Create Astral series here. I very much look forward to, you know, continuing this episode, the series on. I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. And the reason I look at this right now, guys, because sometimes ores spawn in this diorite and granite and stuff. But, Again, thank you guys very much for watching this episode. I will see you guys in a few days for the next episode, probably in a day or so. Have a good day, everyone, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.